Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We got 15 matchups on this NBA slate today, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Working our way to 20.3K subs, guys. So keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Really great promos, especially with DraftKings. Bet five, get 150 in bonus bets, guys. So go ahead and take advantage of that in the description below. And uh, yeah, last the last games of the season a lot of important games for seeding some games don't matter for a lot you know for a lot of teams but a lot of teams trying to move up position make the playoffs so be wary of that a lot of people resting people so uh you know definitely keep that in mind today first matchup we got the atlanta hawks versus the indiana pacers pacers opening up as a 13 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 240 Hawks coming into this matchup 36 and 45. The Pacers 46 and 36. Head-to-head, uh, -head, the Hawks 6 and 4 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Hawks on a five-game losing streak. They've locked in the 10th seed for the play-in, so I don't think they're going to be playing their main players today. Uh, but Pacers definitely need to win today. Um... So yeah, I expect a big game for the Pacers. They're five and one at home. The overs hit in four of their last five at home against Atlanta. Yeah, I expect them to win uh, for seeding here for the Pacers. And uh, I'm gonna take the Pacers minus 13 and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Phoenix Suns versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota opening up as a one and a half point home favorite with the over under at 217. Suns coming into this matchup 48 and 33. Minnesota 56 and 25. Head to head Phoenix 9 and 1 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Anthony Edwards is questionable for Minnesota. Uh, Phoenix definitely needs to win this one for seeding. Uh, Phoenix on a two game winning streak. Minnesota coming off an Atlanta win. Uh, Minnesota did lose to Phoenix 87 to 97 in their last meeting. Phoenix 8-0 covering against Minnesota. 9-1 against Minnesota. They've been dominant against the Timberwolves. 7-1 covering on the road against Minnesota. Yeah, I just think we're going to get a better game for the Suns here. We got Anthony Edwards questionable. Um, I'm liking the plus money with the Suns. And um, I'm going to take a shot with the Suns plus 1.5 and, and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Portland Trail Blazers versus the Sacramento Kings. Kings opening up as a 17 point home favorite with the over under at 214 and a half. Portland coming into this matchup 21 and 60. The Kings 45 and 36. Head to head Sacramento 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Portland on a four game losing streak. Sacramento on a three game losing streak here, but they get a great spot against Portland. You know, Sacramento definitely needs to win this game and uh, really should. Shouldn't have much issues with this Portland team. Um, Portland, 2-8 and eight on the road. I mean, the numbers are bad for Portland. Um, I like a big Sacramento win. And uh, we'll take Sacramento minus 17. Throw them in a teaser today as well. Next matchup, we got the Utah Jazz versus the Golden State Warriors. Warriors opening up as an 8-point home favorite with the over-under at 223. Jazz coming into this matchup 31 and 50. The Warriors 45 and 36. Head to head, the Warriors are 8 and 2 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Um, pretty much every Chris Paul, Curry, Clay, Draymond, they're all questionable. Same with Kaminga. Hopefully they suit up today. Utah on a two game winning streak, coming off a Clippers win. They did lose to the Warriors by eight a couple games ago. Um, Another game, Warriors, you know, should need to win this one for, you know, for the play and seeding as well. Warriors are 7 0 at home against Utah, so they've been very good head to head. Hopefully, the Warriors are playing their guys today. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll take the Warriors minus 8 and money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Brooklyn Nets versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers opening up as a 15 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 215 and a half. The Nets coming into this matchup 32 and 49. 
the Sixers 46 and 35. Head to head Philly, 8 and 2 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Embiid's questionable. We'll see if he ends up playing. I honestly doubt he plays today. Brooklyn coming off a Knicks loss. Philly coming into this hot. They're on a seven game winning streak right now. They're playing good to close out the season. Uh, they definitely need this win for seeding here. They are 6 0 covering at home. 4 1 at home against Brooklyn, where they've been good. And uh, yeah, Embiid probably won't play, but I expect a big win for the Sixers. Uh, they def you know, they definitely need this game. Brooklyn got a lot of injuries here, and um, we'll take the Sixers minus 15 and a half and throw them in a teaser today. Next matchup, we got the Charlotte Hornets versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs opening up as a 13 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 210. Hornets coming into this matchup 20 and 61. The Cavs 48 and 33. Head to head, the Cavs 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Um, yeah, it looks like looks like they're resting people. No Darius Garland, no Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Charlotte coming off a bad Boston loss. Cleveland on a two-game winning streak coming off a of Pacers win. I don't think this game means really anything for anybody. Uh, Charlotte doesn't want to win because they still need to get one of the top picks. Cleveland's already locked in. So I don't recommend anybody betting on this game here. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. I would still take a shot at Cleveland minus 13 and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Bulls versus the New York Knicks. Knicks opening up as a 15 point home favorite with the over under at 217. Bulls coming into this matchup 39 and 42. The Knicks 49 and 32. Head to head, the Knicks 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, I don't see any major injuries for the Knicks here. The Bulls on a two-game winning streak coming off a Washington win. Knicks on a four-game winning streak coming off a Brooklyn win. They did lose to the Bulls in their last meeting. Actually, no. They played the Bulls three games ago, beat them by 11, then lost one before that by eight. But another game for seeding for the Knicks here. And um, yeah, we'll take the Knicks minus 15 and uh, throw them in a teaser. Next matchup, we've got the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Orlando Magic. Magic opening up as a five-point home favorite with the over-under at 215. Bucks coming into this matchup 49 and 32. The Magic 46 and 35. Head-to-head -head Milwaukee 9 and 1 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Um, it looks like Lillard's gonna be playing here, and obviously no Giannis. Uh Milwaukee. A uh, bad stretch for Milwaukee to close out the season. Three and seven in their last ten. They just played the Magic, beat them one seventeen to ninety nine. Uh, this is a game the Magic need to win for seeding, so it is an important game for Orlando. Uh, the Bucks they are sixteen and one against the Magic. We'll see how much they play Lillard. I feel like he's not going to play a full game today, uh, but I, I like the Magic here. Uh, big game for them to lock in a spot in the playoffs and not get in the play in. Uh, so I think I'm going to take the Magic minus 5 and money line at home. Next matchup, we've got the Toronto Raptors versus the Miami Heat. Heat opening up as a 15-point home favorite with the over-under at 220.5. Toronto coming into this matchup 25-56. and 56. The Heat 45-36. and Head-to-head to -head Toronto 6-4 and four in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Um... Don't see any major injuries here. Toronto on a three-game losing streak. The Heat coming off. They just played Toronto. Beat them 125-103. to 103. Uh, Toronto 2-18 in their last 20. 1-9 on the road. Another game for seeding with the Heat. And, uh, yeah. Doesn't matter for the Raptors. And uh, we'll take the Heat minus 15. Throw them in a teaser today. Next matchup, we got the Washington Wizards versus the Boston Celtics. Boston opening up as a 9.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 226.5. Wizards coming into this matchup 15-66. and 66. Boston 63-18. and Head-to-head -head Boston 7-3 and three in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, yeah, Boston, they're resting everybody today. Um, 
Wizards, they don't want to win because they, you know, they want to get the if not the best pick or the top one or two or three picks. So they have no incentive to win. Um, yeah. Boston just gonna be playing their bench. They played their bench pretty much against Charlotte, and they beat Charlotte pretty good by like forward, like 30. Um yeah, I expect the same thing here. Give me the Celtics minus nine and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Dallas Mavericks versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder opening up as a 19 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 225. Dallas coming into this matchup 50 and 31. The Thunder 56 and 25. Head to head OKC 2 and 1 in the last three head to head meetings. Uh, the Mavs already locked into a playoff spot, so no Kyrie, no Luka. They're resting all the starters, P.J. Washington, Daniel Gafford. Uh, so, yeah, Mavs resting in their entire team. OKC, they have a chance to get the number one seed today, so they have a lot of incentive to play. And, uh, yeah, on a four-game winning streak, Dallas resting literally everybody. So... Yeah, the Mavs are resting eight people. So they're resting the whole rotation. It's going to be all bench players against the OKC starters for a chance to get the number one seed. Thunder should win this game by like 30. So uh, we'll take the Thunder minus 19 and a half and throw them in a teaser today. Next matchup, we got the Denver Nuggets versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Denver opening up as a 13-point road favorite with the over-under at 217. Denver coming into this matchup 56 and 25. The Grizzlies 27 and 54. Head to head Denver 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Denver, they got like their whole team questionable today. We'll see who ends up suiting up for Denver. Uh, still a seeding po uh, possibility for Denver to potentially maybe get the number one seed, number two seed, something like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully Denver plays their guys today and they can. Uh, you know, get an easy win against Memphis to close out the season. Denver is six and one against Memphis, five and two covering against Memphis here. And uh yeah, we'll take the Denver Nuggets minus 13 in money line on the road. Next matchup, we get the Detroit Pistons versus the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs opening up as a four and a half point home favorite with the over under at 215 and a half. Detroit coming into this matchup 14 and 67. The Spurs 21 and 60. Head to head, the Spurs seven and three in the last ten head to head meetings. Detroit coming off a Dallas win, Spurs coming off a Denver win. Um, yeah, no, no Victor Wembanyama. His season's over. I mean, both teams, both teams are pretty much resting everybody, even though both team seasons are over. They're tanking. Both teams want to get a top pick, so it's interesting to see who will win this game. Yeah, I mean, nobody should be betting on this game. It would just make no sense. But uh, both teams resting everybody. I, I don't know. I'll take a shot with Detroit plus four and a half here. Next matchup, we got the Houston Rockets versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Rockets opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 221. Rockets coming into this matchup 40 and 41. The Clippers 51 and 30. Head to head, the Clippers nine and one in the last ten head to head meetings. Uh, Houston, they're resting uh, some players. Clippers, we'll see. James Harden's questionable. We'll see if they're resting anybody. I know they're they have some seeding issues as well. Um, yeah. So Houston zero and nine against the Clippers. Zero and five on the road against the Clippers here. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd take a shot with the Clippers plus two and a half at home, but not really a game I would advise betting on. Then the last matchup, we got an important matchup here. We got the Los Angeles Lakers versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans opening up as a three-point home favorite with the over-under at 231. Lakers coming into this matchup 47 and 35. Pelicans 49 and 32. Head-to-head, -head, the Lakers two and one in the last three head-to-head -head meetings. Don't see any major injuries here. Uh, Lakers coming off a Memphis win. Pelicans on a four-game winning streak coming off a Warriors win. A must win for both teams here. So this will be a very competitive matchup. Lakers 4-1 and one against the Pelicans. 4-1 and one covering against the Pelicans here. Pelicans need to win to get in. 
and to lock a spot up. Uh, Lakers uh, definitely need to win this game. So it'll be one less they got to play to get into the playoffs. So big game here. You know, big game. We got LeBron on the other side in a big game. I tend to gravitate towards that more. Um, yeah, give me Lakers plus three on the road here. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.